Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are on the Cloud Realm server. Thank you for inviting me here, very much appreciated. If you are new here, this is our server review series where I go over everything I like about the server, what I think could be improved, all the good things. Um, if you're an existing subscriber, thank you for joining us once again. Um, quick announcement before this video actually gets into the server review part of it is recently, in the last day and a half, we have launched channel membership. So if you are interested in subscribing to the channel in terms of a membership type thing, go ahead and click the join button, which is now located next to the subscribe button down below um obviously not required watching the video is support enough it is just something a little bit extra if you're interested in supporting us um so there you go anyway let's just get straight into it so welcome to cloud realms use slash help for a help and commands use high s is to create an island so obviously it's going to be skyblock please remember to vote use slash rewards uh check out our webpage at the site and to access the forum shops etc uh, custom commands are slash a companions buy and shop. Very cool. First thing I noticed right off the bat, both with your scoreboard, with your tab list, and with your holograms. Colors. The colors are so dark. Like that dark blue is so dark there compared to what you have on your scoreboard, which is a little bit of a lighter blue. Even though I believe they are the same color inside of Minecraft, the different location of them is causing it to look a little bit different. Um, no, they so one's actually way darker than the other. Um, but regardless is I would make, oh, drop my sword. Uh, regardless is I would make the colors a little bit brighter and poppier. So you can kind of see how this daily rewards thing is really popping out at me because it's a different color than the brown text. I would do that because the blue just looks too dark or maybe it's like the boldness. Uh, when you bold the text, it kind of gets a little bit weird. Stuff like that. Um, I would look into that. Uh, another thing I would do is make sure you have a space between your commas here just to be a little bit more precise in terms of grammar punctuation. Um, in terms of your tab list, the only thing I would have to say is uh, I don't know if your rank names are supposed to be pushed together like that. So your uh, rank name right next to the username. Personally, I like when they're spaced out a little bit. So where it's literally just a little space in between the rank name and the username. That's just my personal preference. So I don't think you really need the used memory up on the score on the tab list either. I really really don't think it's needed uh, mainly because server owners normally keep that to themselves and users on the server don't really need to know your specs of the server etc um, but the rest of up there is pretty cool I like your moving tab list and stuff that is quite cool the only thing I would say about the moving tab list is maybe make it say a few other things so it's not always welcome noodles like hey noodles welcome noodles uh, how are you doing noodles, etc. rather than just one text over and over and over again. But that's again a personal uh, preference, it's more an animation than anything else. Uh, you got ender chests here at spawn which are really cool. I know you probably can't hear the sound they're making because I don't have Minecraft sounds enabled uh, on the recording software, but they do make a really cool sound. The only thing with that is I can't tell if it's maybe a Minecraft thing that's on. Okay, I'm thinking that's a Minecraft thing. So my sword was a little glitching out when I opened this, but I think that's a Minecraft thing rather than um a issue with the server side i uh, got enchantment tables over here things i would say with this is make that disappear hmm. i wasn't gonna say make that disappear i was gonna say make it a little bit more bold but it just disappeared out of nowhere so i would look into the hologram you have over here by the enchantment room because clearly it just disappeared without any reason uh donation kit so yeah this is what i'm talking about make this type of hologram for like over there so it's a little bit more poppy and bright um rather than that uh overlord you get to click each one and view the kits so these are kits or are these donation kits okay so these are donate donation kits i really like how you've done this the reason i really like how you do that is you have a very clear click to preview so i know i can click either left or right click to preview it the only thing i would say is get rid of the stuff that pops up in chat it's not really needed to pop up um it kind of just fills up stuff i do like how on your scoreboard you have your island level and balance is zero when i don't have any uh island ever balance that's terrific i don't think you need a welcome noodles on the scoreboard it's just popping it out a little bit too far out i uh, saw so i would look into maybe changing that a little bit um the only other thing i would really say in terms of chat formatting and scoreboard formatting is make sure all the messages kind of look the same because right now you can see you have clear lag ultimate kits timed rewards welcome noodles essential join message remember to vote message and a custom join message so personally what i would do is make sure that is set up so you have just one uh, type of formatting, kind of like how Mindplex or Hypixel does it. Hypixel doesn't really have one chat formatting, but they keep the, keep the same feel throughout the server, and that's what I would recommend. Uh, more crates coming soon. Uh, the only thing that I would say with more crates coming soon is maybe put that in a different location so every one of the main holograms are just alone by themselves. I uh, vote crates. Uh, okay, so left click to preview. 
Um, same thing I'm gonna say, I know a lot of people make comments about me saying this on every single video, is I would really recommend making it so it doesn't bounce you back. Um, and I always say this mainly because you can glitch the places, like I could glitch up there or stuff like that, so make sure you don't have the uh, bounce back. And what I personally would do is if you don't have a key is I would make it open the crate preview if you don't have a key. I don't see why a lot of servers don't do that. And that's something I really recommend doing. So just if you don't have a key, then uh, just open the kit preview. Uh, you have the coming soon here on the realm and sky crate. So you really don't need the coming soon here. It's great to have it there. That's all I think you need there. Um, we're going to check out the commands in a minute, but let's just explore your hub a little bit. There's a player over there. Hello, player over there. Um, so let's just try to explore a little bit of what else you have in your spawn. I'm guessing this is like player shops. Oh, so player shops are still coming soon. That's really cool. So uh, um, if you don't know what player shops are, they're just like the shopping zones where players can sell their own stuff to make money. I really like when servers do that. The only thing I would personally do in terms of that, uh, I don't know who these two people here are, maybe the staff team or something. Personally, what I would do is uh, make it so your player shops are actually, uh, what's it called? A little bit more unique than other servers servers um because a lot of players have player shops right but not a lot of them will have unique player shops where you can do unique things so i would look into that all right auction master uh so over here you kind of got like the high pixel type auction the only thing i would say about this is personally i've seen this all over the place customize it a little bit more than just this because there is a lot of those plugins out there a lot of people are using them ever since hypixel skyblock got super uh popular and i know that's just probably i just typed what did i just type slash h so slash h opens up your holograms uh personally i would make that a private command rather than me having access to it but h does open up your auction menu which is cool um we'll type slash shop and see this okay so you have nice gui designs in here Go back to main menu i like how that's very clear only thing i would say about this is keep it in the same place in each menu so you can see how you're switching it up in different menus here keep it in the same place every time that's my personal preference same with the your balance thing just so you can know exactly where it is so if i'm jumping through these menus i can just click real quick where they are like those two words and i don't have to because i will just click here even though it's up there so personally make all the go back to the main menu buttons the same all right, so I think, um, what other commands did we have in here? Slash buy, whoops, there's bad line. Slash buy opens up, oh, crate keys, ranks, uh, in-game money. Here's the thing with in-game money. Personally, and within the Minecraft TOS, is you're not allowed to actually give that in-game money unless it's a PvE game. Um, if you want more information on the Alula and stuff, I'm going to be doing a video on that very soon. Um, and... Here's a little tip for everyone watching if you've made it to this point of the video is part of their changes they made last a few months ago is you can actually have pay to win things if the game does not include fighting other players, which is how Hypixel Skyblock has their pay to win aspect in there is because it's not fighting other players. You're never PVPing with anyone. It's player versus enemy and that is allowed through the TOS. Um, so I would really recommend looking into that if you want to sell in game money. Otherwise, you should remove that for your store uh, just because you're not really supposed to be selling those um same with rank perks make sure all rank perks are non pay to win as long as the game mode is pvp all right slash is let's create our island island created all right so one thing i noticed right off the bat here is this is the default skyblock island i say this in a lot of different my a lot of different videos here on the channel is you should be probably creating custom islands rather than your default island or giving your option. Here's a better idea. Give an option for the players to have a different island in terms of either your default skyblock island or a larger island such as um, maybe, what's it called? Like, like a custom bigger island with multiple parts, like a cave system, stuff like that. I've seen that on a lot of different servers and it works out really well. So I would highly recommend checking into doing something like that because I think it will work out really, really well if you do that. Uh, do like different biomes for different times of the year, one for Christmas, one for like New Year's, etc., etc. Do stuff like that because that is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, that's what I would do in terms of that. If you have any like um, ideas regarding what you can do with the world border, personally, I would get rid of it or make it invisible or something like that because this just hurts your eyes half of the time when you're running around. Uh, so I don't really like having that there. In terms of spawn, I do like how it's an instant teleport it's very very nice mainly because a lot of servers make you wait and there's really no point in waiting all that time um for that all right we're gonna do slash rewards check out your daily rewards as the thing says mystery box delivery claim now 
uh there we go i got one daily crate key come back tomorrow for another so i guess i can yeah i have to come back tomorrow come back tomorrow cool cool, cool. all right i was interrupted by a phone call but anyway we're gonna go check out your daily crate key and then we're gonna take a quick look at your site and then we will end this review so let's take a look at your daily crate key let's see what you get nice effects in the crate and everything and we got 20 32 percent stone so i got absolutely nothing from that daily crate key but that is a good idea because it actually keeps players playing the only thing i would do is maybe make a little bit slighter of a percent for the first time you ever open your daily crate key just to give yourself a little bit bonus in terms of what you're getting from it so let's hop over to your site real quick and we'll be right back all right so just checking out your site real quick i like your portal page really really cool the only thing is is i believe this is your hub as long as it's your hub in the background great job i'm pretty sure it is because i think the trees match but that's really cool to see um you got your forums the only thing i would also say is make sure this is https rather than just http very nice theme on your forums um we're gonna check out your store as well see what we can see over here very nice theme on your store so they all match that is a great idea because they when they match it works out a lot better um and i really like how you've done that you got voting sites you got status the only thing i would say with your status thing is maybe make it more of like website status server status current players etc rather than just have um just the server and players nice forums i would add more forum posts here and information about your server um other than that just make this uh home the home button this is weird the only thing i notice is here maybe make this home say news or something because i don't think it should just redirect to here when you click home on here it redirects to the portal page so just make sure they go to the same place or you have this set as news or something uh but very very cool uh just keep working on it i think you'll have great success with it lots of advertising is what i would recommend rewards watch out how to get players on your minecraft server video just keep working on it and you'll have a great server all right thank you so much for watching my name is noodles i'll see you tomorrow if you're new here subscribe hit the join button 